Barbara Feldman of WordHer.com here to show you how to add two-step verification to your WordPress login. The two in two-step verification or two-factor authentication involves two things. First is something you know and that would be your password and second is something you have and in this case that's going to be your phone which is going to generate an authentication code with an app. So our very first step is to go to either the Google Store or the iPhone Store and download Google Authenticator, the app, onto your phone. There's also one for BlackBerry. Second step is to open up your WordPress control panel and install and activate the Google Authenticator plugin by Henry Schack. There are a few others, but this is the one with the most downloads and the best reviews. So you're going to download it, you're going to install it, and you are going to activate it. After the plugin is activated, you're going to go to Users, and you're going to go to Your Profile, and you can do this one at a time for multiple users. And now you will see the Google Authenticator settings. And this is where we turn it on for each individual user. What I do on my sites is I turn it on for all of my administrator accounts, but not for other accounts that have less access to the important parts of my blog. Another thing that I do is to check relaxed mode and this gives you a little bit of leeway if your clock is a little bit off because each of the codes that are generated only last for 20 seconds and so it's very important that both your server setting for time and your phone for time are accurate and that's something you're if you're having any trouble at all with this process that that's something you need to look into is how accurate your time phone is and how accurate your server time is okay so we're we're activating we're turning on relaxed mode because I'm a relaxed sort of person and we are giving your authenticator a name and in this case I'm going to use the name of my of my site and now we have a description that's going to show up on your phone and we have a secret. At any time you can create a new secret and you notice when I do I get a QR code. So I have a secret and I have a QR code. So now I am going to go to my phone and under add an account it's going to look something like this and it's going to give you the option of either scanning or barcode or entering a key. The key is the secret and the barcode of course is the corresponding barcode right here. I always use the barcode because who likes to type in long series of letters and numbers. So you take your phone right up to your screen and you scan it until it goes click and then you will have a new account in your Google Authenticator app on your phone that will look something like this. Now this is not a screenshot from the site I just created but it will have the title here and then it will have a code and this code is going to change every 20 seconds. Now the next time you go to log into your website it's going to look like this. Your username, your password, and the Google Authenticator code. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please let me know so in the comments and be sure to sign up for our occasional WordHer newsletter. Bye-bye.